Hey there, it's Megan with Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum. Today we're going to be talking about the Brother PR1055X 10 needle embroidery machine. This is one of the most popular in the store because it is one of the most versatile embroidery machines that we have. What makes it so versatile is that yes, it has this nice big table and a nice decent sized hoop that comes with it, but this machine makes it so much easier to do your hats, shirts, um, backs of hoodies, the sleeves, anything that's really hard to hoop, this machine can do it very easily. The reason why is if I take off this extension table that comes with it, just like that, and put it down, you can see that there's actually just a little arm right here, which we call a free arm, which you can put your garment or whatever around so that it hoops nice and easy, and you can get that design done with not, without having to tear out a seam or anything like that. Not only that, it is very easy to use on the screen. On the screen here, you can see that we have all sorts of different design categories already on the machine, and I can also use a USB or software to put designs to the machine. There is a little icon right here, which means if I do have PE Design 11, I can actually send a file that I've been working on or digitizing in there straight to the machine without even having to mess with a USB stick, which I love because my USB sticks end up lost all the time. Now, there are more design categories in this machine as well. So of course, we've got our standard fun designs that are in the machine. We've got all of our frames and simple stuff like that. My favorite is the monogramming section because monograms are very popular, especially for weddings or bags or things like that. And they have all of these different whoops, categories of monogramming designs in here. One of my personal favorite things that they've done with this machine too is they have the brother's famous My Design Center in here where you can actually scan in an image and actually create your own designs on the machine itself. Software will do a better job, but the My Design Center is really fun to play with, especially if you have artwork or something more simple that you want to turn into stitches. So say I do want to monogram something. I'm going to go ahead and pick, let's do one of these guys, an M for Megan, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit set. So it's nice and easy to find whatever design I want to use and go from there. I can resize, I can rotate, I can mirror it if I want, which on a monogram that's a little strange. It even has the brother auto patch button, and then if I'm a quilter, I can actually use it to quilt around it too. But one of my favorite things goes a little bit further, which is on this screen here. This screen here, I like to call the placement screen, and this is my favorite part about this machine. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hoop back on. There we go. All right, so I've got my hoop on. So right here are a whole bunch of different options that I can do. Like I can baste around the design if I'm doing a towel or the snowman stickers, which started on the Brother Quadro and have kind of followed up. The lines from there is here. So if you know what that is, super easy, same process. But my favorite part is the camera. So I can actually press this little icon right here, which looks like a magnifying glass onto the machine. It's gonna warn me it's gonna move. And then right here, it's got a live view camera. And to me, this is kind of a small screen. So if I hit the zoom button, I can actually get in there nice and close and actually see where my design is gonna stitch out. So it is a live view screen too. So you can see I've got my stylus under there right now. If I had marked where I wanted it to go, I could easily move my design. You can kind of hear it moving to be exactly where I need it to go. Of course, on white fabric, it's a little hard to see, but this is a really cool thing that I think makes it perfect, especially if you're trying to do ball caps or something, you can line it up right with that center seam there. And then, of course, the best part about the 10 needle is going to be the fact that there are 10 threads. So unless you have a design with more colors than 10, you don't have to change the threads. Threading on it is super easy. It's numbered all the way down, just like Brother does. But from here, if I need to switch colors, like right now I've got a metallic in number one, maybe I don't want to do that around the border, I can switch that for, oh, let's switch it for number five. So I can switch one and five, hit the switch button, and then instead of doing my metallic there, it'll do that. So from there, we can go ahead and stitch. You can unlock, press go, and there we go. So 
So watching the 10 needle stitch is absolutely fascinating because it stitches about a thousand stitches per minute if you wanted to. And then not to mention, it's absolutely gorgeous. It also is one of those that it really makes it easy to just walk away and let it finish what the design that it's doing and then come back to it later. Which is kind of neat because Brother came out with an app that's almost like a baby monitoring app that you can use with this guy. And when a thread breaks or something wrong happens, that app will notify you so you can go check on your machine. So it's pretty cool. And with that flashing light there, the machine's telling me we're finished embroidering. I'm gonna go ahead and take her out. And there it is. It turned out really awesome. And the best part is that when the 10 needles are, uh, when the 10 needle stitches, you don't have to worry about s switching the thread halfway through or anything like that. Definitely come and check it out at one of our four stores at Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum. And if you have any questions, we are always more than happy to answer them for you. Thanks for joining me.